You ready? We ready? I'm ready. Come on. It's G to the L to the O. Blow. X Men will gospel. It's G to the L to the O. Blow. You're listening to the real gospel with the X Men. Turn it up loud. You about to get a blessing. We got them tunes that'll make you dance like David. Rocking in your car, in your house, in the workplace. X Men bringing you the real, not the fake. Strike a chord in your soul as these sounds resonate. And plug your ears, cause you don't wanna miss the X Men real gospel. Bringing you the real. Welcome back, family, to Real Gospel. My name is The X-Man, your radio minister of music. This is Jonathan McReynolds. Gotta have you on Real Gospel. I gotta have you, I gotta have you, I gotta have you, I gotta have you, oh Lord. I gotta have you. I gotta have you, I gotta have you, I gotta have you, I gotta have you, oh Lord. Can be your love is a guarantee in a world of changes. You and I together stay on my mind. You are the truth and the light. There's no other way. I gotta have you, I gotta have you, I gotta have you, I gotta have you. Oh Lord, I gotta have you. I gotta have you, I gotta have you, I gotta have you. I gotta have you, oh Lord, uh, I gotta have you, yeah. Look at how you turn my world inside out, I'm loving what you're all about, you won my faith cause I saw win, you picked my life up again, and still became my best friend, yeah, now it's is the place where God gets the glory and artists tell their stories and um, I'm joined in the studios by a Chicago native yes sir Jonathan McReynolds how you doing welcome man? to I'm doing fine welcome Thank to real you. gospel Shot town is in the house yes sir south side oh south side yes sir you know this has nothing to do with gospel but l- let me say this uh, one of my best friends in the whole wide world who's passed away now, we call him P. Mooney, uh, Rodney Williams. He was from the south side of Chicago when I was in the okay. army. Um, that brother taught me how to gamble, <laughs> how to do a whole lot of other stuff. And, that ain't um, got nothing to do with Chicago. It, it, it does. We, well, can't uh, even, uh, we can't even gamble in Chicago. Really? They don't have, they don't have, but they just opened some casinos like out, but for the most part, uh-huh. most of my life. It wasn't even legal. Well, I don't mean casino, casino game. You talking about shooting dice? I'm talking about we, we didn't shoot dice. I, he taught me how to play spades, and he taught okay. me how to play tunk. I don't we'll know about tunk. tunk. I don't know what okay. that is. Spades. Well, a uh, tunk is a very addictive game if you're playing for money. Two dollars a hand, three dollars a hand. Somebody out there knows what I'm talking about. You weren't saved your whole life. I think you got some people judging you. <laughs> All right, but but good brother, good brother, smart brother. Um, uh, he passed away about two years ago. He Sorry had just that, retired. Man. Yeah, thank you. Uh, from the military, did 20 years. 
and um, a year after he retired, he passed away of a heart attack. So, uh, but let let this be a lesson to uh, get your checkups that could have been prevented. Yeah. And so, um, but God bless you, P Money. Chicago is in the house. Speaking yes, of Chicago as well, um, we're on the campus of Fisk University. That's mm-hmm. where we broadcast from, from the studios of Jazzy eighty eight WFSK. Um, there are more students here at this university from Chicago than any other place probably in the world. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Chicago yes. has a very, very proactive and productive alumni association. Mm. So nice. uh, I just wanted you to know that. Hey, we in here. That's yeah, 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 for real. No Y'all are really like in I'm here. Yeah. I mean, you ask somebody where they're from. I'm from Chicago. And they'll let you know in a heartbeat. Most so, yeah. Chicagoans that have been to Nashville love mm-hmm. Nashville. Yeah. I don't know why. You know, we just work together. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us a, a little bit about you and where you, we know where you're from. But how did Jonathan McReynolds find Christ? Well, you know what? I have actually grew up in church, okay. man. I grew up, I'm the consummate church boy. Gotcha. Played the organ since I was oh, eight. You know, wow. leading service or whatever I had to do. Yeah. My mother's a missionary, Church of God in Christ missionary. Yeah. So I always yeah. grew up in church. Yeah. I think finding Christ uh, as a concept was not yeah. hard. Gotcha. He was always there. Gotcha. Uh, but I think in college, when I really had to figure out what that dedication, what the religion meant, as a true application in real life, I think that happened in college. Uh, for me trying to etch out, okay, so the Jesus of the church, mm-hmm. Jesus of Sunday, how does that look Monday through Saturday? Mm-hmm. And so now I've dedicated my entire musical career, my lyrics, my everything to somehow making the ceremonial Jesus meet the regular real life everyday Jesus. Mm-hmm. Where did you go to college? I went to school uh, at Colum- Columbia College, okay. graduated in 2011, and I just finished my master's at Moody Bible uh, Institute, also in Chicago, Okay. Uh, just now in this past May. Okay, okay. I meant to say this to you as you were coming up the steps. Uh, the anointing is just, it's, it's just, it flows out of you, sir. Oh. It, it is heavy on you. Thank you, brother. It really is. I almost couldn't look at the brother. <laughs> you ever been around somebody? I thought you were just saying I was ugly. I, no, I, I thought that's no. But for those who, I'm a member of the Church of God in Christ. Uh, my pastor is Bishop Jerry L. Maynard uh, here in Nashville Cathedral of Praise. Mm-hmm. And, um... You know, but have y'all ever? Uh, I'm talking to uh, Tamar. Uh, I don't want you, you're about to get married. What's Tamar your, Rand. Rand. Almost Rand. Uh, almost. Rand. Almost. Almost Rand. Okay. When is the wedding date, by the way? July 18th. July 18th. Okay. Woo. And Kathy. Kathy Carroll, thank you so much. She, she didn't realize. Hey, she, I gotta show you. She wasn't ready. They, they, she wasn't. But they're sitting in here. I had to say something. I can't. I can't just ignore y'all. Pretend y'all not sitting in here. But I just want to say something. To you. Thank y'all for bringing him by. But I, the reason why I pulled y'all in was because have you ever been around somebody whose anointing is so strong that it either rubs off on you or you find it? It's almost like the glory of the Lord is on them, so you have trouble sort of looking at them. <laughs> they look at her. She's been yeah, around me too much. She's she used see? to it. That's all it is. <laughs> so y'all didn't see that. She's she used to it. She wants. You want the anointing to rub off on you, huh? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I can tell that you are a person of deep faith and that you do a lot of praying, a lot of praying. And so that's what the Holy Spirit is saying. And so that's that's so don't stop praying because that anointing is taking you uh, to places that God is just saying that he just wants to kick down doors and just and just do tremendous things to you. you. Thank you. Yeah. God bless. Um, God bless you. So let's talk about um, the song. Gotta have you. I love the song. It talks about the relationship of uh, I'm just summarizing that when you're speaking of gotta have you gotta have more of you gotta have more of your your favor of, of everything mm-hmm. talk Absolutely. about the song yeah, yeah you know what that that's a great point man yeah. uh, sometimes we do seek after some of the things that he can give yeah. um, you know the favor the blessings mm-hmm. the glory the blah 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 blah, yeah. blah but honestly man I just want God he says seek yeah. first the kingdom and all yes. his righteousness and everything else will be added Add unto you. So this yeah. song is just about man yeah. I love you God gotcha. just you being you doing mm-hmm. the things that you do and doing the things that you've done mm-hmm. uh, I just thank you mm-hmm. and I gotta have you man I wrote this song with PJ Morton it got yeah. uh, produced by the legendary Warren Campbell so I'm really wow. excited about it it's yeah. a great summer song yeah. I hope it just puts a smile on somebody's face those are some powerhouses in um, gospel music especially if you watch like I watch um, the show Mary Mary you see uh, Warren Campbell uh, I call him super producer oh, because yeah, his his music his beats his things they're just taking off takes things to another level and brother Morton is just um, 
he's been around for a while just doing tremendous things. Yeah, he's incredible too. Um, how did you get involved in, in music as far as uh, wanting to record? Uh, t talk to us about that story. Well, you know, it all actually happened right here in college. Okay. Uh, uh, my first uh, couple years, I got a little Pro Tools set up in high school. Ah, I learned how to Pro use yep. it. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, when I got to um, college, I had a dorm. Uh -huh. And so I don't do this, college people. <laughs> but I maxed out my first little $800 limit credit uh -huh. card and uh -huh. I bought uh, some, you know, some speakers and yeah. a laptop and uh -huh. a Pro Tools set up. And I just started, you know, recording music, never really expecting anybody to hear it. Wow. Uh, unbeknownst to me, the music that I would create then would be what has got me here now. Wow. And, uh, you know, God has had his, his way, you know. Yeah. So by the time I graduated, I was already kind of traveling a bit. And a few months after, I got signed by Tehila Music Group, mm -hmm. E1. Mm -hmm. So, wow. Incredible. That's awesome. Awesome. Um, so the CD project, um, talk to us about what we can expect from the project and uh, who are some of the persons that are on it. Is it just all you solo? I mean, What's if it's all on? me, is anybody yeah. going to be disappointed? Of course not. Okay, good. Of course okay, not. Okay, yeah. good, but it's not. It's yeah. not. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I did uh, write just about every song on there. Okay. I'm really excited about it. You know, lyrics and message is my number one priority. Yeah. So I know that uh, if you really listen to lyrics, the closer you listen to the lyrics in this album, the more you're going to enjoy it. Um, but I have some incredible people. I have Derek Minor, incredible okay. rapper. I have Israel Holden, yeah. legendary worship leader yeah. and artist. I have Indy Ari, wow. legend herself, yeah. Grammy Award winning. Yeah. Um, and, and there's some incredible people that you maybe never heard of. Yeah. But I think it's going to be an incredible record. Okay. So India Ari, yeah. best known for brown skin. Come on, let's be real. Is that the is that's, that the that's song? The, that's, that's, that's the song. I, I was in secular music before I uh -huh. was in gospel. Okay. Stuff. So somebody out there knows what I'm talking about. But yes, but how did you uh, end up with her? Well, you know what? I had a great opportunity on BT Celebration of mm -hmm. Gospel to sing a duet with her. We yeah. sang together one of my songs and one of her songs. Yeah. Um, and it was really incredible, man. And after yeah. that, we just forged a friendship, stayed connected. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, she sees a lot of herself in me, yeah. particularly how I'm positioned in the gospel. That's how she felt. Yeah. Kind of what yeah. in R&B, kind of yeah. alone, but a yeah. good alone. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, we just we just became fast friends, yeah. and we're still working. God yep. bless. Or, or as it, it's not about my hair. One of them is not about my. I'm I am not, not my hair. My hair. So yeah, cold. but those. She got a lot of them. Yes, yeah, she do. Mm -hmm. And shout out to, or should I say, shout out to uh, Shannon Sanders, who wrote a lot of her music, and he resides here in the Music City, I think, in the Murfreesboro area. But that's another uh, that's writing my, brother. Yeah, Have you brother. heard of him? Oh, Shannon Sanders. Oh, really? Okay. He produced the song. Oh, really? He, we all wrote it together. Wow. Yeah, no, that's my brother. He's a, wow. He's small. Actually, yeah, he's he's a preacher. He don't know it. So <laughs> I hope he's hearing this. Yeah, small that's world, a, yeah, small great, yeah. world. So. So what advice can you give, I guess, um, persons who are who are struggling with uh, maybe they, they, they have that um, Adobe Audition or that Pro Tools mm -hmm. and they're writing, they're trying to record and they're hoping to sort of, you know, be discovered. What advice can you give people like that? Well, I mean, maximize what you can do. Yeah. You know, honestly... Uh, before I started, before I had any yeah. any help, I made my album cover. Mm -hmm. I made, I produced the songs. Yeah. I, you know, did what I had to do. I built a little vocal booth in my dorm yeah. room. Yeah. And I, you know, so when it came to me presenting the music to other musicians mm -hmm. or presenting it even to a label type yeah. person, you know, I had more to present. Yeah. So I'll maximize what you can do. I'm not gotcha. the best anything. I'm yeah. not the best producer or musician yeah. or engineer or anything. Gotcha. But, you know, I try to do as much as I can yeah. to present the most complete package to get um, to give people who I was before they told me who I was. Yeah. And so uh, I just encourage you, you know, go to YouTube. They got tutorials for everything. Yeah, you do. don't have to not they, know about right. anything. That's right. I just that's learned true. how to tie a bow tie the other day. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, there's everything you can do on yeah. YouTube. Just, you know, work your hardest. Yeah, amen. So, um, how does one stay connected to the Lord when they leave home? Because you, you obviously, there was something, we know that you had the Jesus in you when you left home, but being able to stay true to your, your faith mm -hmm. in an environment where there's so many faiths and faithless people around you, how, how does that how does that? Well, you know what? That's where all my music that is certain, that was on the first album, Life gotcha. Music, that's what it's all coming from. Yeah. You know, it was the consummate church boy getting to college and re yeah. realizing, uh, really, that Christianity is not the norm. Yeah. Uh, to live a life that is mm -hmm. truly based on faith and 
and you know living holy or anything like mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. that's not normal that yeah. is actually the narrow road that is yeah. what people don't like doing they think it's foolish uh, and I went to a very eclectic atheist yeah. crazy you know they had yeah. a bunch of stuff going on <laughs> it was an art school which is yeah funny. I know yeah. and um, so all the songs I've written No Gray and yeah. No Longer everything that's on that first album comes from me trying to figure out how to be a Christian in a non-Christian world me trying to uh, sometimes discipline myself mm-hmm. and smack myself aside the head for doing things I knew I shouldn't have done Uh, so you know I think what changed for me over the time is really my circle Mm -hmm. you know I think everybody walks in the college freshman year and we have like a hundred friends and it all whittles down to about five by the time you graduate make sure it's the right five your circle is very very important the Christian experience was never meant to be one done in isolation Mm -hmm. it was always meant for community Mm -hmm. you know when uh, Paul was writing letters he was writing to communities of believers to help each other out encourage each other check each other Kick each other out if they got crazy, right. you know that's what I'm saying? Right. And so that's what uh, you know Christianity is supposed to be even now. And so I encourage all the Fiskins and everybody <laughs> else um, that's listening, yeah. please go get you some like-minded friends. Yeah. It's, it's going to change your entire yeah. experience. Yeah. Let me ask you this, and I, I I think I believe I just discovered this to be true. Um, although a friend of mine who's a bishop in Atlanta, um, on his walk of faith. He was seeking advice from another bishop. I'll say a Bishop Walker uh, from the Mount Zion Church here in Nashville was giving. Yeah, you know Bishop Walker? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he was giving advice to another friend of mine, uh, by a, a guy by the name of Bishop Mike Favors, who now pastors in Atlanta. Exactly. And so uh, Bishop Favors and I we were conversating. He said, X, you know, Bishop Walker told me something I want to share with you. He said, if all your friends are church friends or if all your friends are pastors, you're in trouble. And so um, what I discovered is that sometimes that being around just the ordinary common folk can help not only keep you grounded, but also show you how God can use you to be impactful to people who are not on your level because you're always surrounded by uh, church folks. So you you can lose sort of you can become disconnected in a way. What do you think of that? I mean, I think that's important. I think. uh, my music wouldn't sound the way it does yeah. if, if it weren't for me having a very eclectic group of friends. Yeah. I just think that, uh, you know, we always, what's a, one, it's one of the church's favorite yeah. scriptures, greater is he that is in <laughs> me than he that is in the world. Yeah. So we got to make yeah. sure that we are being yeah. the influencers yeah. and not always being the influence. Yeah. You know, and we always have to make sure that we're affecting our mm-hmm. circle more than maybe they're yeah. affecting us. If you know that the things that they um, maybe are about aren't yeah. what you're about. I yeah. mean, the, the bedrock of what we do is Christianity. Everything yeah. else comes after that. You know, yeah. before anything, I'm a yeah. Christian man, you know. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, I've, I've had a great, I've always had a great balance of friends. You yeah. know, my wedding is going to be so weird. Yeah. I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how the whole bachelor party thing is going to be because there's going to be some people trying to pull it yeah. this way and yeah. other people trying to have yeah. a prayer meeting. Yeah. But, um, you know, uh, that's very important for you to always understand where people are at. Yeah. We are ambassadors. So as an ambassador of Christ, we have to have one foot pretty much in the Christian world Mm-hmm. Another one trying to, you know, draw people out of the yeah. world, you know. Yeah. So uh, I think that's very important. Yeah. But I just say, particularly in college, mm-hmm. you know, you're going to, it's going to be easy to have, yeah. you know, the secular experiences. Uh, yeah. I think, um, you know, everybody's going to be going to the parties. Yeah. But I think sometimes it's, you have to make it your mission to find some people that are like minded that can check you. Yeah. As you go out and do your thing, yeah. you need that, that praying few to be like, yeah. Jonathan, what are you doing? <laughs> X, I, that's you so not, true. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I think just in particularly in these four years, man, they're really important yeah. to make sure not that you're you know necessarily uh, exclusive to a yeah. certain type of people. Yeah. Make sure you're surrounded by plenty yeah. of people yeah. that know who you're trying to be and know yeah. your goal yeah. and who you're trying to be in God. And uh, you know that's what helped me as I got older in, in college. Yeah, amen, amen. Listen, it has been a pleasure and an honor having you in the studios here. Uh, won't you? I, I like this terminology from the Five Harpers. Won't you riff something real quick? Riff something. <laughs> I know the riff. Do people still use riff anymore? No. Riff I'm not sure what it means. Riff means you know you hum riff. something. You riff. I can't and then sing. I, okay. It just means sing. One, just a quick snap. You didn't see the five heartbeats you know, when they got pulled over. <laughs> No, uh, no, uh, Eddie Kane, when he said, you try to sound like me, you even try to riff like me. <laughs> you didn't see that movie. Come on, man. I did. I, okay. That's funny. You I just wanted that part, to see you though, do right? it. Huh? <laughs> I can't sing. That's why I do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Just, yeah, a little All something right. for the people. 
Lord, I'm split in two. Part of me loves the world and the other loves you. So what do I do? I want to be saved, but I got to stay cool too. And no, I'm not a fool. I know eventually I'm going to have to choose. And really, I don't want to lose my ticket into heaven and a chance to be used by you. So if it's God that I'm after, I just can't serve two masters. And before something happens, I gotta turn it all around because I know I can't just have my cake and eat it too. See, that's why you gotta go out and get this brother's music. He is the real deal in an age of um, Adobe Audition and uh, what's the other program? Pro Tools. Oh, Pro Tools. He's the real deal. Jonathan McReynolds, how can the people find out more about you and your music? Well, you can go to JonathanMcReynolds.com. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also have an app, on Jonathan McGonagall's app on iTunes and Google Play. But uh, the, that album, Life Music, and also the two new singles, Gotta Have You and Pressure, are on iTunes right now, uh, Amazon and Google Play as well. Uh, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook like everybody else, so go check me out. All right, amen. The one and only Jonathan McReynolds, thank you for stopping by Real Gospel. Thank you so much, X. I appreciate you, bro.